Uh, yeah, you know, it was one of them fun games. You know, it sucks. You know, with the low altercation, you know, uh, probably lose, probably lose serves for a couple games. But, you know, um, that's 80s basketball, I guess. <laughs> Did it kind of get you started, though? Yeah, it got us going. You know, something like that happened. You know, the crowd got into it. You know, our fans love things like that, you know, especially with it being a, you know, a hockey city. You know, so it was, um, they got a little excitement out of that, and it got us going. How sick of you were hearing about that whole Chicago 11 wins in a row? I was, it's, you know, extremely tired of it, you know, because, you know, just to lose, have a losing streak like that, you know, it sucks. You know, you don't want to have something lingering like that and then go a couple seasons where you can't beat a team, you know. When you're a competitor, just to have that back in mind sucks. That steal uh, when you were knocked out from behind that Rondo, that block as well, was, like how much of that was the Bulls and how much of it was we're trailing and we need every little play? We right? needed everything. Yeah. You know, oh, it's, damn. Um, <laughs> yeah, we, we needed everything. Every every scrap that we could pull out of there, you know, it wasn't about plays at that point. It was more so who, who wanted more, you know. Um, we all did a collective effort of putting in and doing our part. I don't know. I've been in a lot of skirmishes in my life, you know, but, you know, just try to get a strong back, you know, and I failed, but, you know, I was just trying to break it up. Yeah. You, uh, you talked about PJ this morning. Um, what can you say, again, about what he's able to do in the fourth quarter game tonight, specifically against Jimmy, who has obviously been missing? I mean, it's big to have a, a, a player like P.J. Tucker, the toughness that he brings, the intensity that he brings on the defensive end. You can't do nothing but, but follow follow suit when you see a guy like like that going out there every single play, putting his all in and in, in, in stopping a guy like a Jimmy Butler. You know, and, and you know he was a key key partner in us getting that win tonight. Did you guys talk about his energy? Like yeah, you know, it's great when you have a guy like that on, on your team because, you know, you – he never stopped talking. You know, you hear his voice, you know, his movement, always clapping, the intensity, you know, you got to follow suit. Do you find yourself talking more when, when he's out there talking? Uh, nah, I'll still be the same. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just cool, calm, and collective, you know. <laughs> Are you guys, you battle back, you tie it, then they go back up by four. It takes us through what it takes to get over that and on top of that. Well, you can't quit. You know, you can't quit. You know, some, sometimes things not going to go your way. You got to understand, you know, you got to keep fighting. You know, you get there, you got to tie it up for a reason. You know, you go back down, you can get it back there. But, you know, just understand what you got to do to hold the lead. So, you know, that'd be our mentality. And then the overtime, they go up by two, and you're kind of playing with fire a little bit but not making any buckets. Yeah. But then the defense, talk about the defense uh, down the stretch there. We got, that's what we got to rely on is our defense. You know, it's going to be stretches where we can't score. You can't get a basket. But, you know, somebody's going to hit a shot. But as long as we play in that defense to give ourselves that opportunity to be able to tie the game up or get a lead, you know, then we're good. You ever remember running a game where you haven't led for the first 52 minutes? I didn't lie. Where you haven't led for the first 52 minutes? No. <laughs> Y'all stay with great uh, statistics, I guess. <laughs> I mean, it stepped up big, you know, especially the trust that the coaches have to put in a you know, rookie like Fred to go in there. He made some, some big stops defensively, and he made the right plays tonight. So that's big to be able to go, you know, that deep. Playing a rookie uh, point guard in a, in a critical game like that, you know, is big.